Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm trading the ES futures on a 2000 tick chart with a 21 EMA. So I've got the overnight high up here and the overnight low down here. These are our key levels for the day. I started trading around 8 central time, which is this area right here. Now, notice we have this push up, this clear leg up right here. We break as we form this overnight high, and then we have a second leg up after. So we have these two legs up here. And even though we can clearly see those two legs up, on a big picture, this is just one leg. And so I just wanted to show that really quick. And I also want to show that at first, you would see right here, you would have this leg up. You have this uptrend, break, second leg up. We make a new high, so we have uptrend that played out with a break in a new high. And when an uptrend plays out, you can expect a reversal back down. And notice we immediately reverse back below the EMA. But like I said, on a big picture, this is just one leg. And you have to, you have to train your eyes to notice this in real time because it's not just the uptrend playing out and then a reversal back down on a bigger picture what you're actually seeing here is just a break so we have this push up even though it's not confirmed with three bounces here we can tell you know at this angle it's not really going to hold well on a trend anyway but it's a very clear spike up very significant move we have to treat it as such and so we get the spike up right here and then a break. And now just like I was talking about how these two legs on a big picture is just one leg, that applies to these two legs down as well. So notice this first leg down, break, and that second leg is a lot smaller than that first leg. And really, this whole thing is one leg down, even with that push higher right there. You know, it's really just one leg down. And so someone, you know, someone might try to say, you know, to go long here because they might view it as uptrend, break, first attempt higher, second attempt higher. But you have to make sure you don't mix up the the uh, price action levels. So the the small picture trend already played out once again. We had this uptrend, uptrend, break, new high, and then reversal back down. So on the small picture, the uptrend has already played out, and we're reversing back down here. On a big picture, you can't look at every single tick that goes by. You have to understand... It's about structure breaks, not just ticks higher. So bigger picture trend, we're going to get bigger picture breaks, bigger picture attempts at a new high. And so you can't view those little this little tick higher as, the, as an attempt higher right there. This is just a break. So anyway, we push up here. And now even on this higher low, we get this push down. This is not significant, significant enough of an attempt. So I did not like that right there. But then here we push lower here. It's a clear leg down. It's a clear second leg down. It's more than measured. Now, on a big picture here, you can see we have first entry short, second entry short, failure. So that right here, this is technically a failed second entry on a big picture, but um, but it do doesn't always mean, just because it's big picture or something doesn't mean it's always good to take. Like at first right here, you don't want to enter right into the overnight high. It's not off of support. It's not off, you know, once again, it's right into resistance. So you don't want to enter right off of it, right into that. And then here we do push above, we close above. It's getting extremely huge at that point anyway, but also it did reject the EMA, which it is still a bullish bar, but considering it's a failed second entry, I didn't like how it rejected the EMA, but also once again, it's getting very huge at that point. And so when we push on higher here, and then we, we got what I was, something, I was hoping for something a little bit better and bigger, but we still got something here. Notice this uptrend, we're expecting a new high. We got this two-legged break, which is very common to get a two-legged break, so... It's like uptrend, break with two legs, and then two attempts at a new high before reversing back down there. But um, but anyway, so as we're expecting a new high, we have a sharp push up above the EMA. We get back above the overnight high, and then we have these two legs down right here, retesting the overnight high. So clear first entry long, second entry long, but more importantly, on the other side of the count, ignoring each wick, only looking at the significant moves, not the wicks. Like this push higher right there is a lot more significant than say a tick lower like like this right there. We have first entry short, second entry short, failure. So we have this failed second entry holding on top of the overnight high. We're expecting a new high for this uptrend. It was right after these two legs, you know, this two legged break right here and then a rush back above expecting a second leg. And I had room to get out before this resistance here. So I really like this trade. The EMA didn't bother me so much because we were going choppy. So the EMA doesn't matter as much. But um, what did matter was we were off this overnight high, failed second entry while expecting a new high. And so 
And like I, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in this in this video, of course I do talk about this all the time though, is you wanna see two attempts to fade before you buy with a breakout. So when you break out of this overnight high, you wanna see two attempts to fade before you buy. And like I was saying, with this being one leg down, and not to count this smaller thing, um, you only have one attempt to fade at this point, so you can't go long here. And then after this point, we have two clear attempts to fade, and then we have a you know push on out, and then we're entering on that second leg higher. So just wanted to point that out. Um, but anyway, so we, we continue sideways here, and there's a reason I do not like this long here at all. There's a very good reason I avoided this long here. As you can see, it ended up working out very well, but that doesn't mean it's going to do that next time. So the reason I don't like it is, um, so notice here, you know, after we had those two attempts to fade, then we got these two legs, uh, you know, attempting to push back out of the range. And so we had this push up, two-legged break, and we start that second leg, and we clearly have this measured move higher here. So this measured move higher is in play, and then notice we have that first attempt to reach it, and then the second attempt to reach it, failure. So the reason I don't like going long here is simply because it's right after a failure to the downside. The chances of this continuing this failure are too high, so I ended up not wanting to go long there. You know, it's just a, it's a good bar off of a significant level, but it is important to understand that we had this measured move in play. It was formed after, you know, after this leg up had its break. That's basically when this, you know, leg was, you know, we had our measure. And so we had that first attempt to reach it, second attempt to reach it, failure. I'm not going to enter long right after a failure like that. But um, it does end up pushing higher, nearly reaches that a measured move we do reach this um this we do make this double top here though but we really just got choppy i was hoping we could have you know pushed lower and pulled back and gotten something but unfortunately like a lower high failed second entry but unfortunately we don't get anything here we just push on lower we go into this downtrend and then we get this break pushes above the ema unfortunately this is really just one leg up once again i see that tick lower right there you have this you know push a little bit higher and then we tick lower and then another push higher but you know, just like I talked about with these other areas, this is just one leg higher, rushing above the EMA. It's not an ideal short. Um, and then we don't get any good kind of failed second entry or lower high underneath that. We just push lower, so we have this downtrend, break, new low. As soon as it makes a new low, we go choppy, which is very common. And it's very common to reverse after a trend plays out, just like I was talking about earlier. And so it's common to look for a reversal pattern after a trend plays out. Now we don't get a reversal pattern. Instead, what we get is just a very choppy two legs up. So we clearly form this range right here, but it's still pretty easy to see. We have a leg up, a break, and a second leg up, nearly measured. It's within a tick of being measured. And after that second leg up, we just plummeted back below the EMA, back below this range high. It looked really great to ride to the other side, because even though the downtrend played out here, you already have two attempts to reverse and it's just failing. So you're entering on a failure, which is very nice. And so it doesn't go a whole lot further than the low of this range, but it, you know, it goes pretty decently through it. We chop around, form this double bottom before reversing out of here. And um, I just want to point out, I was looking for a, you know, you can see there's kind of some downward direction here, which of course, I mean, we faded down, but you can see there's kind of some slanted downward direction here. I was looking for a possible trend like this, but I ended up not really, you know, leaving this on for too long because it really just looked like a sideways range that we reversed out of. And so like even this right here, I didn't like going long here because, you know, even though we formed that double bottom, it was going in this downward, um, you know, almost trend like structure. Um, it was right into all this chop right here. So I ended up not liking it, but you know, and it wasn't quite a double bottom either. It was nearly a double bottom, but you know, it was really a higher low that barely closed above the EMA. But um, what I would have liked to see was after stalling here, you know, in this overnight range, I would have liked to see a clear failed second entry higher. That would have been nice. Um, but anyway, we push on up here, very strong spike. So we bottomed out, pushed back out. We have this uptrend break. And then notice we have this, um, on a small picture, we have that first attempt higher, second attempt higher. And that's clear enough to where you actually can definitely play that. Um, you know, and then on this side of the count, you got first entry long, second entry long failure, rushing below the EMA. This looks like a great short to ride down to the low here. I'm kind of disappointed I missed that. Um, 
I don't I didn't I don't remember seeing that happen in real time. It must have just happened pretty recently. This must have been a sharp move down. Looks like it happened about Oh wow, it happened about 30 minutes ago. I'm looking at the time here. So anyway, um that sucks. It looks like it made a good symmetry move. You know, it's not surprising we had a very strong like a spike reversal and so we got, you know, a very strong move down only to find resistance around that previous resistance. So or I should say support in this case. But yeah, this looks like a great trade, you know, uptrend break, even though you, on a big picture, on a bigger picture, you can tell eventually this will be one leg. Even when you're zoomed out, you know, for a, a thin spike like this, you can tell you got two legs up right there. So to me, I really like the way that this short looks once it just rushes below that EMA. Once again, uptrend, couple attempts at a new high. Look at the other side of the account, you got a failed second entry. So that short looks good right there. So if you got in on that, definitely doing the right thing um anyway wish i could have got that but anyway thanks for watching i hope this video helped out in some way and i'll see you next time